all things should be considered. And unfortunately, it's not the case with everything. It should be considered <clears throat> what a person has, if they have any resources at all. Like, you know, um, there are so many desperate victims. It is just. Unspeakable. There's just way, 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 too many victims. Uh, it's too sad to think about. But nobody ever considers or thinks about the victim. Like all the rich people on YouTube don't think that, oh, a homeless person, there's no way for them to have a bank account. There's no way for them to have a laptop computer. There's no way for them to have anything. They have to be given everything. But, um, like a church, I didn't understand why, why they even asked. Like, well, what do you need? Do you need socks? And, yeah, the, the number one thing that a homeless person would need, clean socks. Clean clothes, clean socks. Uh, they need, need a house. That's what they first need. And then, you know, obviously food, but I miss my vitamins. People don't consider, they don't think about anybody else. And I really, really hate the abusing, insane abusing, controlling, condemning, belittling, brainwashing, manipulating, lying narcissists who pretend that they care. They pretend that. And they do nothing at all. Like, I barely ever got any help. And I have to say one of the million ladies, uh, Susan Chappelle, did, was there for me. But unfortunately, my, my life was that bad that she couldn't help me out at all. I mean... If you have a life as bad as mine, like back in 2010, it was, it's just unspeakable. So what she had to put up with me, all the hell that was created in my life at that time, how can anybody stick, take it? It's understandable why, you know, people don't want to visit have anything to do with a homeless person. They, they have nothing to offer. They can't... You know. There's nothing at all to them. Um, but life is not... It can be. Life is what you make of it. When you have better circumstances. Um... And I just had a toxic person, unfortunately, in my life. I wouldn't even call it a person, because they're just that bad. They manipulate shit all around. They turn things all around, twist things all up. Uh, yeah, you know, like, just don't make any sense at all. I, I can't believe that, you know, I'll just go with my husband because he's dead. Like, how? He didn't know me at all. It's insane. Like, you know, how many insane abusers didn't know me? Ten. Like, you know, I'm just a simple person. I don't do anything. I'm boring. You know. There's nothing, you know. I 
my life's boring because I, I have nothing. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's not much. Like, um, people don't make any sense. But, and, uh, yeah, it really, really killed me today. I really got angry. I killed <laughs> late Arthur Hessenoff the third and I killed my husband oh my god how delusional can you get just beyond and I'm not even around my dad my dad's tired um, well, I ain't get along with family. It's the best way to put it, put it that way. Okay. <laughs> Negative decal. Um. But when somebody dies, you should have manners, right? I mean, so the person who falsely is accusing me of killing him and my dad, my dead husband. <laughs> And Arthur, he died in 2015, January 5th. He was buried. Um, it, it just falsely accusing someone, uh, you know, just, just to try to get a reaction out of me. Just, they want my anger, my hate. That's really, really sick. For somebody to want you to hate them. So they go out of their way to make you hate them. What, what can I say to like really, really hurt this person? Oh, it's all your fault that your husband died. It's all your fault that... You're the father of your two children died. You're that awful of a person that you made them die. Oh my god. Completely nuts, man. Just totally nuts. Yeah, like Like that that person can't be helped out. Uh, you know, you, you just you know, seriously? Like really? <laughs> The only person you're in charge of is yourself. And the school of hard knocks is... No one's gonna... Save you but yourself. No one's gonna... Uh, you... The school of hard no knocks is... You are number one. No one's gonna help you out. You have to be there. You have to be your own best friend. And you have to stand up for yourself. And do good for yourself. And know what you do, and for somebody to hate somebody as much as like that individual hates me, they want me to hate them, so they say really weird shit. Oh, it's your fault. Your husband died. Hmm. Oh well, man. Oh, nobody has any responsibility for anybody else but themselves. The school of hard knocks is you're number one. You look out for number one yourself. Nobody else will. Uh, it's really, really bad then when you have the uh, the leeching, insane abusers who just kill you with their horrifying toxic energy and uh -uh. beat you down and destroy you in every way that they can it's horrible it's really horrible um life shouldn't be that hard And hell is other people. The only reason why, you know, my hell, all my hell on this earth was created by other people. You know. <laughs> what what sins do I have? What the hell? Tr trying to survive? Is that, is that a sin? <laughs> uh, 
This world's too bad. There's wrong everywhere. There's evil everywhere. There's death everywhere. You can't get away from it. Yeah. So, in order to make it, in my opinion, a person first has to love themselves to want to make it. I mean, first you have to love yourself. So, that leaves out all the insane abusers. They absolutely hate themselves, take off their hate. They can't even see themselves in the mirror. It says, uh, I hate most of the Bible is a lie. Uh, when I was a child, I thought like a child. When I became a man, I, uh, did away with childish things. I, I look in the mirror, uh, dimly. I have to look that up. Whatever the hell it says. Um, insane abusers can't even they hate themselves so they can't see themselves at all they have no idea what the hell they do they just all the time they take off their mask and they mirror their hate and blame their vulnerable victim my, my husband was just gonna die without he was just in his room lonely total asshole and he was just gonna die all by himself. So, these insane abusers, you know, they just, uh, there's nothing to them. He didn't do anything all day. None of my abusers did. Die. They don't know what the hell they're doing. They don't do anything. Yeah? God, the only thing he did was, uh, once a week he went to counseling. He went pick up mail me on to the bank Wait. the grocery store we did nothing we did nothing boring life uh, what the hell I did I cried on my bed for half my life nobody cared no, they, they, you know my insane abusers didn't even notice me crying on the bed like What's wrong? <laughs> Why are you crying? Did I do something? Yeah. They were the whole reason for me crying. They created the hell to make me want to die and to make me cry on my bed. It is all their fault. And, um... This world's just too sad that there's just that many bad people out there, you know. Um, so, yeah, I, I really, um, hate, uh, people that have no manners, so all I need was, like, white trash, like, you, to, to not, to be so oblivious to everyone around you and, and like not to care and like to go to somebody with your pastor to a dying person and say that they're going to hell I, <laughs> who the hell does that that's fucked up shit man no manners they like they, they came out of a circus they came out straight from hell no manners at all. That the wouldn't you wouldn't even have a clue to know how to uh, be polite and be good in any way. You don't go to a dying person and tell them they're going to hell. Obviously, that's wrong. Just no, just so, so oblivious to everything. Just not. But, um, yeah, those people 
insane abusers just absolutely hate themselves. So they don't have anything else to do but pick and pick and pick and push buttons and antagonize and provoke their vulnerable victims to be angry and just, you know. Life is so hard because of insane abusers. It make no sense at all. None whatsoever. They're just useless. Just... Oh, babies are... Um, so much easier than an uh, insane abuser. Oh my god. There's not, there's not, nothing that you can do to satisfy them. Once you do what they ask, they want more from you, and they want more. Or you did it wrong. You don't know what you're doing. You're 